So hello men, women, children, babies. Yes, today we are here to give you a review on this My Pleasure palette. But as y'all can see, I got all three. I got the Ooh La La, which I still love the look I did with this one. And I got the Mar one, which I did a full face of ColourPop with. But today we're just going to use My Pleasure and Mar because I want to do a blue-purple type situation today. So let's get started. Um, Let's open it up and you can see how sexy it is. So this is what the palette looks like. Oh my god, honey, yes. When I saw it, I was like, I knew. Because at first I was going to do a pink and purple look, but I was like, nah, we're going to go ahead and just do some purple. So I got a few brushes here. Let me see what brush I'm going to start off with. I'm going to start off with this, um, this next one. This is the number 15, sorry, number 16 blending brush. And we'll start off with, I think I'm going to mix Fan Fiction and Kitten Fish, whatever the hell a Kitten Fish is. I'm just confused what the fuck that is. But all right, color bottle. Kitten Fish it is. And just go pat that up here nicely. Because I want to do like a gradient of like soft to like more dark colors, if you will. So that's why I'm just starting off with this light color. And then do our dark. If y'all haven't noticed, like I like a lot of purple, um, red, I'm sorry, no, purple, blue, and green looks. I'm trying to like calm down on doing so many of them though. Because I feel like, you know, y'all going to be like, what the hell, woman? Do you know other colors exist in the rainbow? Try to use some of them, but those are just like the colors I gravitate, gra <laughs> gravitate toward when I, you know, do videos and do eye looks in general. Like I did do something different outside of my comfort zone though, because I did like a gold look Saturday. If you haven't seen it, it's on Jill Beauty Day Seven's Instagram page. And there's a few different palettes you can use to make that look. I talk about that in the um video I did on my IG um channel comparing two different palettes like I compared the ABH dupes from Wet n Wild to the actual ABH palette so if you want to see videos about the dupes you can go to the IG um TV for Gel Beauty 87 and I did like the quick three shadow eye look I normally put those videos up on um Instagram but I don't think you can upload videos to Instagram from um, the camera correct me if I'm wrong I don't know and I didn't get the SD card thing yet to transfer those to my um what do you call it page my um phone yet so we're just dealing with that for right now now we're gonna take sleeper that color right there and put that further down the crease so I'm starting to like do the darkness I was telling y'all about then y'all know my extra thirsty stuff is excited for some shimmers shimmer 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 shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. I feel like eye looks aren't complete without, like, shimmer. I'd feel weird if I just had to wear, like, matte shadow. I've done it before, and it's a couple of looks I really like that are just matte. But I prefer to try to, you know, like, do matte and shimmer. I can't just do the whole matte situation. I need shimmers on my crease. Like, you know, I just, it's just a need. Oh, hmm. I thought I saw shimmers in this first, in this, um, darker shadow. But then I realized, like, no. That's just the um, trophy wife because it's getting everywhere because it's so damn glittery. But, you know, it's fine. I got a glitter bomb on my face today. Because I think I use it entirely too much. And I don't even use that much. So I'm like, you just got to be really light-handed with this. Or use a brush that doesn't pick up as much product. And the brush I use clearly picked up way too much goddamn product. Because, you know. Okay, so, so far so good. I'm liking the way this is looking. I like to do a like, light to dark type gradient. And then go in with my, you know, shimmeries situations because I'm real extra and I need to shimmer and glow. But yeah, so we're gonna put we're gonna use the Mar palette in a minute, but I'm trying to start with the um um what you call this palette? The um it's my pleasure palette. So I'm gonna cut the crease with my MAC soft ochre paint pot and my MAC 247 because this is my favorite brush to do my cut creases with. I hear a lot of people talking about MAC 242. This is like literally the only MAC brush I own. I I don't know. I heard Puffin's wife talking about how the Max brushes weren't as good as they used to be because they changed to synthetic. So I'm like, I'm not even going to waste my time buying any. If I run across some of the old school ones that still have natural hair at um, North Central Rack, where I found this one, then I'll, you know, buy them to try them. But, like, I'm not going to buy the new ones because Puffin's wife said they're not good. And since she's the work for Mac and is, was a professional makeup artist with Mac for years, I definitely trust her judgment when it comes to their products. So if Puffin's wife don't think it's popping, I'm sorry, Mel Thompson, because she calls herself now, then I don't want a part of it. Anyway, 
So what we're gonna do now is go in with the two lid colors. Here's my lid brush. Um, I'm gonna use this BH Marble Lux brush in number six. And I'm going to take what is this? Chiclet. And then we're gonna put uh, Dewar Dough in the middle. So I'm gonna try to get some of this on the side. And just kind of round out this part right here. So we're gonna tap it and make this rounded, it's like half moon type situation, a crescent moon, whatever you want to call it. On this part, and then we're gonna go in the middle with um the do or do shape. So to do that with just this brush. And then just literally take my ring finger, go into do or do, and then just rub that in the center. Yes, this color actually kind of reminds me of Celestial from the um, what pa the Norvina palette. That's what this color, that's the vibe this color is giving me. And you know, I'm here for it. I like it. Hello. Yeah, so yeah, I'm feeling this eye so far. But y'all know me, I gotta be extra, so I'm gonna have to put some like extra work into it and be real extra. But right now, we just take the brush back that has. Um, what's it called? Chiclet on it and kind of blend them together so it doesn't look so harsh. Since I put it on my finger, I need to basically blend the colors together and make it look more cohesive like that. So, that's what we got going on so far. So, let me get this other eye. I mean, let's get the bottom part done and then we'll proceed to do the other eye. So, I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics. Um, it's from the um, Crystal Collection. Crystal Quartz, I believe it's called. And I'm going to take this um, Deep End Pencil from Urban Decay. And I'll put that in the waterline. And then we're going to go with a sparkly shade from the Mar Palette underneath the lower lash line. Because lately I've been liking to do that, like having two different colors, but having one at the bottom, one at the top. So I'll just go in with this pen. So see, we just have already done it, and it matches the color of the um, color I'm going to use in this Mar palette perfectly. So the color I'm going to use in here is this color right here, and they don't have the names on them. So this is Gridlock, I believe. That's right here in the middle. I'm going to take that brush and just smudge it across the bottom, just to enhance the color of the blue even more. I like doing this mainly because I feel like it comes up the creases on my under eye when I have on concealer, and y'all know this is messed up eye on top of it, so. And I believe I did this first. I mean, this eye first, so you can see the difference between like my under eye creasing and how I feel like it's not nearly as visible when I do this. And since my eye is finally starting to clear up and behave itself, I can, you know, do lower lash line work again. So that's that's the final eye look. And so now let's just. Finish it on the other side. So since I already got the pencil out, I'm gonna just smudge that underneath here now. And then we'll go ahead and cut the crease and then come back to this palette and put it under there. Or I might just do it now since this palette is already open. Yeah, let's just do it now and then go back up to the top and finish off. So I really like the way this looks. To me it's got like a cool little I don't know, I feel like I'm going to rave with this look on. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go back in with gridlock and just make the side match the other side. Okay. So, so far I'm really liking the pigmentation and stuff in this palette. Um, and I would definitely recommend you get it because, I mean, girl, it's only twelve dollars Like, you know, just get, get the damn palette. It's wonderful. And you can usually find five dollar off codes like I did, so it'll like basically be with free shipping, cause they um charge taxes online now here in Chicago anyway. So anyway, let me just hurry up and cut this crease. But yeah, girl, get your hands on this palette. You need it in your life. In the store. Okay. We dump this side. Sorry, I'm gonna hit the one stuff. We're gonna go back with chiclet and pat that down real quick. Pat 
that back, back down, pat that back down. My camera is about to die soon, so I'm trying to like hurry up, y'all. Because I need to charge the battery, so. Sorry about the rush on this eye, but you know. Y'all got to see how it looked pretty the first time, just in case I don't forget to finish it off. I mean, this camera thing really is testing my skills, so I had to be rushing, like, get done at the time. Okay, yeah, so, we done. I feel like I look like Sailor Moon or some, like, weird um, cartoon character. Anyway, get your hands on this palette, sis, if you can. I love this um, video. I mean, I love this palette. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know why this is so difficult. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.